Welcome back. This is an Alex training video on calculating the capacity of electron subshells. A subshell is a local area that there is, that an electron happens to be in or could possibly be in. Specifically, electrons reside in orbitals where there are two electrons that are try to stay away from each other as much as possible. One is spinning in one direction, one is spinning in the other direction. So those two particular electrons are living together and hate each other. So they're like college girls in a dorm. And each orbital is a room that can hold two electrons. So an orbital on, in the periodic table is, um, is whatever electron plus the next one, two, two, uh, two boxes in a row would be an orbital. So the first electron would be one roommate, and then the next the next electron would be the next roommate. So, if you remember that a subshell is going to have two parts, it's going to have a an n equals so a period row, a period a row number or a period number, and then a subshell. So the the l remember can be zero, one, two, or three, and s if l equals zero is an s. Uh, if L equals 1, it's a P. If L equals 2, it's a D. If L equals 3, it's an F. So an S is going to have, um, it's, it can hold, let me think if I remember this right, it can hold 2 L plus 1, 2 L plus 1 orbitals. Okay, so each subshell can hold 2L plus 1 orbitals. Okay, and each orbital can hold 2. So let's see what the S is. The S would be 2 times 0 plus 1, so this would be 1, 1 orbital, which is 2 electrons. The P, which is L equals 1, is 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, 3 orbitals, which is going to equal 3 times 2 is 6 electrons total. The D is going to be it's a 2, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, 5 orbitals. Okay, so 5 orbitals is 10 electrons, and F is 3, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7 orbitals, and that's going to be 14 electrons. Okay, so, this, so the, the L number, this, should tell you how many orbitals you are, and then the orbital should tell me how many electrons, because I'm going to double the number of, number of orbitals possible. Okay, so let's try this. Principal quantum number, that's easy. If it's 3s, the principal number is 3. It's that first, it's that third period. 4d would be 4. 5s would be 5. So those are your simple ones. s is going to be an L number of 0. 4d is going to be an L number of 2. And 5s is also going to be zero. Okay, now how many electrons can fit in an S? An S has one, so S is two times zero plus one, that's one orbital with two electrons in each orbital. So that means the total number of electrons would be two. Okay, the D, the D is going to be two times two is four plus one is five, that's five orbitals two girls in each room, that's 10 or 10 electrons total. And then the last one, 5s, that's zero. So that's one orbital, and one orbital holds two electrons. Okay, so all these, of course, the questions will be randomized, but you're, you're checking out orbitals based upon 2l plus 1, and then it's two electrons in each orbital. Hope that helps.